Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use all cross filtered function in Power BI. This is a very powerful function. If you want your measures not to be affected by any of the filtering criteria or any selection you make in your uh, visualization, this function comes in handy. So let me quickly go to my Power BI desktop version and then show you how to do this. I have loaded a sample data set, which was created for this example. I have the brand and also the unit sold per month. So let's say I want to express the unit sold per month as a percentage of total sales volume. So in, in this kind of scenarios, all cross filtered function comes in very handy. So let me quickly create a measure. So let me call it as, maybe I can call it as overall. And call it as overall. And I need to use this function combined with calculate function. So I cannot just use only one function, but it should be a combination of these two. Calculate, let's say I want to do a sum of units per month and then filter all cross filtered. So I need to give the table name. So here in this case, my table name is sheet one. Close parenthesis and hit enter. Now, if I bring this to the values, you can see it's all 37,000. So even if I apply any filter, so this doesn't change, it still remains 37,000. So let me create the filters here. And now if I want to calculate a new measure, let's say a percentage, percentage contribution equal to sum of units per month divided by overall, hit enter. and convert into percentage. Uh, now you can see here, right? So if I make any selection, let's say I'm gonna select BMW. So it's not affected by my filtering criteria. So still I get the same thing. So I can quickly remove this here and then I can, I can, use this particular metrics. So this is how the all cross filtered function works in Power BI. This is a very powerful tool. So this is a short video on this. Hope this helps. Have a great day.